Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got a scheme for you guys today. I got some run plays and some pass plays and offenses that I've been using in my gameplays. You're going to see in a lot more gameplays out of the Niners playbook. But today's video, I'm going to focus on a formation that's pretty popular, um, but I never really used it a ton, and that's the split close. Because now that I'm in the Packers, this is one of the best formations. I'm sorry, not the Packers, the Niners. This is one of the best formations in the game as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to show you guys some really good plays. Starting off, let's go ahead and set up our audibles. Uh, my number one play that I use the most is like a dink and dunk play. It's definitely the PAF slide, but there's explosive capabilities there. That's already going to be in my audibles. The halfback close wheel's already in there as well. That one's all obviously always one of the most popular plays. I don't know. I'm, I'm surprised EA never nerfed that. I'm going to make that even more explosive today, though. Uh, and then I would say that my two favorite plays after that would definitely be the power O. And uh, the last play would be the fullback inside. Uh, but for now, let's go and let's start off. Uh, I guess I'll start off with the run plays. The last play, uh, if I had to add, I mean, there's a couple of them. I'm going to have extra on my Patreon. I'm going to have extra on my uh, Join Now community tab. Link in the description below. I think for, for the main video, though, for YouTube, I'm just going to show the five plays. And then I'll leave the rest of these plays uh, for that. I'll leave the rest of these plays. So if you want to check that out, link in the description below. Or hit the Join button and you can see all the extra stuff. Now, before I get into the video, as as always, I just want to say this video is brought to you by my sponsor, my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up like mine, I currently have like a 93 offense, 94 defense. Uh, check them out. Link in the description below. Use discount code MONEYSHOT uh, for 5% off your order. They already have the cheapest coins in the market as it is anyway, but you can get 5% off more if you use that discount code. So let's go and let's get into these reads. Uh, there's really only two run plays, and it's really only two that you need. It's a fantastic running formation. I don't know if this defensive front I'm looking at really lends to either but it definitely would be best if they're packing the box to try to go outside of that and that would be with the power O. so this is definitely going to be your best option uh, as far as a run play is concerned and i really made a poor read there there was a hole right up the middle but i tried to take it outside because it kind of pre-diagnosed it but that's fine to me the best run play is definitely the fullback inside i like this play the most i just find that this gets the best blocking and i'm not really making the best read so far my favorite run is definitely going to be the fullback inside but you can see how both these runs are really going to go uh in opposite directions here like i said that's that's definitely um you can this is one of the in my opinion this is one of the most explosive run plays in the game one of the explosive run formations there are also uh formations like this that have a uh, quarterback option like a shovel a shovel play i love that play too but that's not in this particular playbook but those would be you know these are definitely two of the better running plays they, those particular formations that have that third play the quarterback running play they don't they don't actually have uh the pass plays that this one has so like i said without a doubt my favorite play out of this is going to be running at weak side to the fullback uh to the fullback position you can see i mean sometimes the lanes are just a little bit tight uh, but you can see if I could pick my way through these, I would definitely have some really explosive run plays. And I'm getting very consistent production regardless. So like I said, that's definitely my favorite play, but you can also go to the power side. Uh, the power side probably be better uh, against like, you know, zone coverages. So as you can see right here, if you have man coverages, there's going to be more defenders on the, the side that has two receivers. But you can see how you have success if you go against if you go against zone coverages. So I would say that'd be one of the easier ways to read it. Against man coverage, you can go to the fullback side. Against zone coverage, you can go to the running back side. But to be honest with you, you're going to have success either way. Because like I said, this is one of the best running formations in the game. Uh, I, I just think they're so explosive either way you go so like i said right here i mean we also just want to read like if they have a blitzer in the box like right here they have a blitzer coming right towards uh where the fullback inside would go so i would definitely want to take this the opposite way so you can see i mean if the blocks are, i mean i'm not i'm not even really running this this great and i'm still having explosive results i'm not even really reading my blocks well or anything like that as you can see like there i probably should have took away outside so here's another look like i said zone coverages i don't really think there is like this this should work against either zone coverage but sometimes you have to go around those those stack boxes so like i said i mean this formation if you have two good running backs and my my current system i went out and got reggie bush i got Ladanian tomlinson already and now i had to get reggie bush because when i run a when you run a system like this you really need two good running backs a lot like san francisco has they have a lot of speed uh, which makes a defense an offense like this really hard to stop when it comes to the run plays so as far as the passing plays go i'm going to actually set up specific uh defenses for the close halfback wheel 
But the PAF slide, um, this is a play you can run against just about anything. I find that whether it's man or zone, these running backs do a really good job. You can see right there, the flats, I mean, especially with the speed that we have here on the Niners, the flats are going to be open for a lot of really easy catch and runs. So I'm going to go ahead. I, I will swap out here real quick so I don't have to keep doing the uh, the adjustments. But you can see these these zones, just they just play off way too much. And you can just dink and dunk all day and get 10 yards plus every time. Now against cover three, you can have a one-play touchdown with this particular play. If you motion across the A route, streak the X route, and streak the B route. I also like to put the RB route on a, uh, a wheel route. Um, although that's probably, you know, that's that's at your discretion. But the rest of the setup you really need to do. And then you can see how you really can get right up the seam there. Uh, just as long, it really depends on the, the, the zone chuck that you get. Uh, whether you get chucked inside or outside. This guy right here, if he gets chucked too, if he gets an inside release, he's good. But if he gets chucked outside, a lot of times this cornerback will pick him up. You can also motion across the B route. And if you put the X route on a fade, um, this will, you know, that B route's going to hesitate that uh, that cornerback just a little bit. And then you can see how you can get that that release right over the top of that. So there's a couple different things you do. I don't know if I have the speed necessary to get going on a play like this. But there's a couple different things you can do. So that's pretty much the, the bottom line. Like I said, I'm still, I'm still using this mostly for the running backs, though. So right here, get that zone chuck. That's really going to be the decider. And then, like I said, if you can really get this ball up. You can make some big plays, but, you know, like I said, I mean, you want somebody a little bit faster doing this. And at the end of the day, I mean, like I said, I'm really just, to set up some of the other plays, a lot of times I just motion this guy out because some of the other plays are going to have that same motion. And then I'm just kind of going with the running backs. The B coming across is a little bit delayed. It's a good check down. This is one of my favorite goal line plays, too, by the way. I use this goal line all the time. I'll, motion the, I'll move the ball up. Um, not necessarily goal line, but anything inside of the five. This is one of my favorite plays to go to because a lot of people really play hard flats. I run this goal line a lot because the A route on the back, once he hits that back pylon, he just basically, it just, I don't know, it just works out really good. I've used this a million times in goal line plays and my game plays. Uh, you're going to see this in gameplay more often as well, considering how much I use it. Now, the close halfback wheel, in my opinion, is an even better cover three play. You can do this a couple of different ways, too. You can just streak the B route, put the A route on a smart route. Uh, I like to motion out the running back, get him to the line. He'll pull coverage. You can also streak the X route. A couple different things you can do. Uh, and then this is going to have a lot of success to that B route. As you can see, he just gets right through the scene. Didn't quite have the speed to get going there. Raiders are doing a pretty good job on that. So, I mean, if you want to do it, you can do it that way based on the fact that I don't necessarily want to move the, uh, the safety across. You can move this guy across and try to get the safety over there's a couple of different ways that you can really try to play with that safety pre-snap because you really want that separation to make that play as i'm not quite getting going i'm a yard short there but we'll call that a touchdown in gameplay i've actually moved this guy out quite a bit um you know but you can see like i said the safety here uh really you know really reacts and i don't want him to react to that necessarily so here there there we, we get a little bit we made a little bit of a different adjustment there as i also streaked the running back uh which is gonna you know basically overload that side um so that's that's something you can do as well you can block this rb route uh if you want to give yourself uh, a little bit more pass pro uh, but like i said that extra streaking uh running back is going to basically keep that safety over that computer ai safety over a little bit as well so a couple different ways to do it if you don't want to make that motion you don't have to i find that that double streak actually actually helps though so we'll go and do that one more time like I said, now we're getting a bigger separation. Um, but like I said, I've done that in gameplay. I, I have some cheat code receivers in my on my mud team, though. That might be why. There's also a really good man play. I like to put the uh, the X route on a smart route. And then a lot of times if you just, you know, you can bullet pass, uh, low pass. Um, you're going to have a really easy play. Because he pretty much has an inside release uh, based off of the fact that, um, you know, it's just... You know, you, you, when you have the inside release, you're going to win against cover two. That's basically the idea. Against man cover one, like I said, the A route's going to be a good route. Smart route him. And then you can see he's just getting outside uh, easily, very easily. Man cover one's not necessarily as good as man cover two. I don't know what it is about this uh, animation, but you can see, I mean, he's really getting outside here. Uh, and then you can see, I mean, this is not something you typically get in man coverage. But if you smart route it, it becomes kind of a glitchy route. And I've shown this in other videos. I showed this in another video using Michael Thomas, and, and people in the comment section were like, well, that's because it's Michael Thomas. This is not Michael Thomas. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is some, some random dude I, I, I barely even heard of. 
maybe had one good game with the Niners, but you can see, I mean, he's definitely, I'm pass leading up a little bit. I mean, I don't have that speed advantage that I would like, but you can see I can pass lead up and get a big play. Or, I mean, it's, it's better to pass lead up against cover one because like I could bullet it but I don't really care for bullet passing against man coverage it's not always the best look and then you can see I mean, we're just having a lot of success to that side there's a lot of good man cover one concepts here like the wheel route if I motion him to the line uh, this doesn't work on a lot of backs but uh, if you have a guy like Mostert I mean you can definitely out sprint your defender and make a big play like I said Man coverage is a little bit tight, though. So I'm going to go to end the video there. If you guys want to see more from this formation, like I said, link in the description below. Check it out on my Patreon or hit the join now button and you can catch the entire scheme. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.